What's up, guys? Dustin, you here back with the Winnipeg Jets gem mode. Uh, so last time I did the uh, draft, and then the last video we did the off-season kind of preseason stuff. Uh, Resigned all the players. We got Andrew Ladd back. Um, I think after preseason, all the overalls kind of reset. It looks like your morale gets better. I'm not sure exactly what it was. Maybe it was the team meeting we had. Um, everyone seems to be a little bit upset right now. But overall, our team is actually pretty good. Um, Hellebuck's up, which is good. He's an 86 right now, which is awesome for a starter. Um, I think that's what I had uh, Veslevsky's in our uh, Vancouver stream jam mode. So hopefully that helps. Um, here's our lines that I redid um, just due to how everything was going here. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure exactly what I want to do at this point with these guys. Because Shifley, I think Shifley is the second line forward. So I don't know if I should put... Uh, Jack Roslevic or uh, Mark Shifley in there. Um, I might, yeah, maybe we'll start with Shifley up just to start because he's a little bit older, right? So Roslevic still has time to get better. He's a low elite. But, anyways, yeah, we got Ehlers, Kuznetsov, Wheeler, uh, Lad, Shifley, Stafford, Armia, Roslevic, Kosmachuk, Lowry, Kopp, and uh, Weiss. Uh, we have a few guys scratched basically because of uh, cap issues. So Postma, Frazier, and Klitsum are all scratched because. Uh, basically we're under the cap minimum and I didn't realize that. So I should have signed a couple guys to maybe a little bit more contracts. I mean, it's good in the long run because, um, for instance, Andrew Ladd, who I had to resign for like five years or something, uh, we undercut him. So, um, at the end of the day, it saves us money, right? In the long run, but which means we could probably sign somebody even better in the off season. But also I think, uh, I think this is the end of the Ehlers contract yeah this is his last year so i mean it gives us lots of room because he's a 90 already he's gonna want a lot of cashola um anyways here's goalies hutch is looking pretty good already as a backup 83 overall and hellebuck is obviously an 86 um yeah sorry i kind of showed you but yandel myers morrissey truba party and spurgeon so it looks yeah i think it just reset because morrissey was like an 80 last time so i think um i think after preseason maybe they get happy or maybe it depends on how your your opening because we did our uh, preseason uh, team meeting so I don't know if that helped at all but it seems like it may have so um, that's good uh, so yeah basically I'm gonna start Simmon um, I think we're gonna try maybe midway through December see how long that takes um, I did scouting already last time I believe so uh, yeah, we'll try and get to maybe the 17th. We'll try and simulate like half, not half this season, but, um, I think our teams should be pretty solid. Ugh, you know, it's hard to say. Uh, we're not off to a great start already. All right. Two and two. Edmonton's going to be good. Ugh. Yeah. I don't know. Hope we just, we need to have a better season this year, to be honest. It'd be great if we could make the playoffs. Um, oh my God, we lost to Dallas. It was one and three. Come on, boys. Carolina's off to a good start. There we go. Uh, edit scouting assignment. Um, I forget. Where did I start off? I think I... S oh, did I already scout in both these places? Okay. Um, at this point as well, there's not very many players, so I'm just going to do like three weeks everywhere, basically, depending on how many players there are. That way we can kind of get a good range of um, like overall what kind of players there is without having to really worry about uh, um, just scouting like three three places like Canada, basically. Because as you as far as like as you get farther into the GM modes, um, hold on one sec. Meter row is off. Up there we go. Yeah, see when your team's happy, that one usually works pretty good. Because that's off. Uh, numbers are black and white. Pick it up, bud. All right, there we go. Uh, let's check our HL if there's any morale here. Oh, team meeting. Okay, chalk up another dub for the good guys. And a, and a huge game for us, but. Uh, I need more from you. We can, uh, yeah, let's just do that. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Uh, no J. Let's give him that one. No effect. Okay. Andrew, not getting the ice time I deserve. Okay, let's just say that to him. Makes him happy. Getting disappointed with my ice time, to be honest. Do that. Get him happy. <laughs> There's a couple. You could just literally blatantly lie to them, and it doesn't matter. Uh, okay, there we go. So our team is getting happier. We're on a, f oh, I was like, we're on a few game win streak, but now we're not. Um, 
But I think we have a really solid club. Now that everyone's back on track and everyone's happy again, for the most part, um, I think it's going to be like we got the we got the overall, we got the makeup for the team. It's just for our team to go through and execute at this point. We're doing okay to start nine, six, and one. But uh, the past couple of years has just been awful, like just brutal. Okay, so we did there. We got to do USA. So yeah, basically, depending on how many uh, players there are, like we could probably get away with uh, three weeks in here too. Um, anything under ten players, you can pretty much just go for uh, two weeks, and that should be decent. Oh wow. Okay, lad. Look at doesn't paint a pretty picture. All right, numbers are black and white. Pick it up, lad. Ron Arvis is making a lot of... There we go, we'll do that one, because that's usually positive. This gives me recent performance. Don't rest on your laurels. No effect. Underperforming. Yeah, you have Shifley. Pick it up. Positive result. Cool. Um, do we have any HL ones? Yeah, if you keep your HL team happy, it helps um, the growth immensely, because obviously they get the overall boost, but then they also get, if they're playing better because of that, then they get... Uh, the, some of the moves. Oh, say it. Don't just complain. Probably bad. Yeah, negative effect. That's fine. Like Batanza an eighty-two right now, which is gr crazy. Um, yeah, we got a lot of good players in the minors though. Uh, Party's not even playing. He's an eighty-one. <laughs> That's funny. All right, let's back out here again. All right, come on, boys. Oh, we lost the Buffalo. Yeah, I'd like to just get like a decent streak going where we can get ahead here. <clears throat> Being 500 is not the worst, but I want to make the playoffs with this team. Like, I feel like we can make it. So, um, anyways, yeah, I was talking about scouting. So, basically, under 10 players, you can pretty much just go for like two weeks and it gets you a decent amount of uh, information on those players. So, come on, Jets. I don't care. Come on, Jets. Uh, re I don't understand why it says recent roster moves, because there's literally nobody moving, so I don't really get it. Um, so, like, yeah, like, all these places have, like, like, Russia even has 11. We could probably get away with two weeks there. Um, and then you can basically do all forwards, all defense almost, and get, like, a decent picture of what you're looking at in the draft. Um, not in the first year, though. The first year, there's so many Canadian players that it's, like, hard to really kind of get a hold of all of them, you know? Um... Which is not not bad, but you know it kind of sucks. You can't really like look anywhere else for other players. <clears throat> really gelling. Uh, yeah, I'll just say that one because I don't really know. Oh, that worked. Okay. Really gel. Okay, let's just say the same thing. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Everybody's happy. Seventy-nine percent. That's good. Okay, nobody in the NHL needs it. That's good. That's good. All right, Detroit loss. Oof, we're sixteen ten and three though, which is pretty decent. All right, so I think we're. Oh wow, we got some time. Okay, you know what? Uh, let's go to January first here. Let's just keep going for a bit. Oh, we lost St. Louis. Shoot. Uh, okay, so yeah, most of these places fourteen. We could probably get away with two weeks, I think. I'll try that. <clears throat> oh no, we're going on a losing streak. Oh, there we go. Okay, good. Come on, guys. Get a couple wins before the end of the end of the physical year. Let's go. Nice. There we go. Come on. Big win against Chicago. No. One more game against Vancouver here. Vancouver. Win. Nice. There we go. There we go. Much better year so far. 2013-3. Uh, we got to do scouting here. Okay. Um, current assignment. No, that's not where we want. Is there anybody in, like, other? No, there's one defenseman. Uh, yeah, we'll just, oops, we'll keep, uh, we'll just keep scouting forwards, kind of, for two weeks-ish. There we go. Okay, 2013 and 3. Uh, let's see how we're sitting right now. Uh, we're in the wild card spot, right behind St. Louis, which isn't bad. I'll take it. Uh, what are we, we got points? I always get games playing points mixed up. So we got 43 points. Wow, St. Louis is, wow, look at Colorado, 61 points already this year. Woo! They're already at 30 wins, that's crazy. They're under t these these three teams are under ten losses. I'm surprised Chicago's doing this bad, to be honest. But um, like the Nashville, Dallas, and Chicago are all right behind us. So if we slip up, we're screwed. But um, as of right now, we're doing we're doing okay. Uh, where are we sitting in the league here? Colorado's just running away right now. Oh, there we are. We're tenth overall in the league, which isn't bad. 
Mm, goals for 2.972. That's not bad. That's actually pretty good. Uh, goals against 2.556. I'd like to see that a bit lower, but you know what? It's it's not terrible. I mean, it's for where we're sitting, it's not that bad. Uh, power play percentage 20.56 is really good. Pretty happy about that. Short-handed 85.87. It could be better. Um, 772 at home. Our, our road, road, road record is pretty good. Road, 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 road. <laughs> I can't even talk. Road, 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 road. Okay. Uh, Ehlers looks like he's got 32 points in 36 games, which is pretty uh, pretty decent, I would say. Oops. Let's see here. Ehlers, 32 points. Uh, Kuznetsov has 28 points, and Roslovic has 26. Shifley has 25. So yeah, these guys are still doing like Roslovic's still doing really good, even though he's on the third line, which is pretty good. Yandel has 24. Wheeler is 23. I kind of expect a bit more out of him on the first line there, playing with Kuznetsov and Ehlers, but that's okay. Um, Lad needs to pick his socks up, that's for sure. Um, but otherwise, I think that's pretty good. I want to see how goalies are doing here, quick. Goalies, let's see. Hutch and Hellebuck, who's playing? All right, so it's yeah, it's pretty. I don't know. It's pretty uh, pretty good where it's sitting at. I mean, they're pretty. They're not that far apart in overall, so I'd kind of expect uh, Hutch to play a little bit more. Hellebuck's having a pretty good year though. 69 and one, 2.3380, uh, 918 save percentage, three shutouts. And I mean, Hutch isn't as great. His goals against is a little bit worse, but. I mean, he's still, he's pretty, he's like 500-ish. <laughs> Save percentage isn't bad. He doesn't have any shutouts, but, I mean, it could be worse, right? Um, so, yeah, that's not bad. I'm actually pretty uh, pretty happy where our team's in. We're at 79% locker room cam, which is good. Ooh, there's a couple morale. How's our moose doing? Where are the moose sitting? 14, 14, and 6. That's surprising. We have a really good, uh, we have a really good AHL team. We have, like, a bunch of 80s, to be honest underperforming lately like even Burmese in 80 86 we could probably get a, a trade for him later on maybe at the deadline mcwilliam what do you want oh my god this dude i'll just lie to him again no oh, he didn't fall for it this time <laughs> son of a gun um actually hold on i wanted to see how our team looks for morale so we're at 79 percent, but i want to see if anybody's like got boosted or anything here Looks like a few guys have, actually. Uh, Ehlers is... So our top guys are still good. Roslovic's at an 86. Wow. That's pretty crazy. Um, I don't know if I should maybe swap him and Shifley for a little bit. Uh, Shifley's considered a presence player, though. So Hellebuck's obviously up. Um, who else is up? Kosmachuk's up. That's pretty good. Hutch is up. Weiss, Dale Weiss is up. That's good for our fourth line. Hardy's not even playing and he's up, so that's good. Um, although it says he's a 7th D-man, so I don't know. Klitsum's probably like, eh, he's probably getting angry because he's top 6 he's not playing. Uh, or no, wait, hold on. Is Postma playing? Who's playing? No, maybe Party is playing. I can't remember who's playing here. Oh yeah, Party's playing. Okay, never mind. That makes sense. Frazier. I don't think Frazier's playing either, but he's happy, so that's good. Alright, so there it is. I think we're doing good. I don't think we need to do any moves. Um, if we get to the deadline, I might even just go past it. I don't know what you guys think, but we're in January, so we pretty much got two months before the deadline. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't be against even just keep, like, if you guys think that we're set, I think, I think our team's pretty solid. I don't think we need to make any moves. Maybe at the deadline, we try and move Burmy for maybe a draft pick or something, and that's it. Like, don't, don't touch anything else, because I don't want to move anybody in the NHL team. Like, our NHL team's pretty good. So maybe, yeah, like I said, deadline, if you guys think maybe Burmy for a pick, get him somewhere where he can play. He's an 83 overall, which is not bad. He could probably help some team out. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I wouldn't be even against just going to the end of the season, see how we're sitting. Um, I mean, we're not quite halfway through the year right now, but I feel like we could probably get through the rest of it. All right, so let me know what you guys think. Otherwise, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. It helps out a lot, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, guys.